All right, welcome back. So in the next two videos, we're gonna talk about project management software tools that we have used exclusively with the Savvy Couple. We've used um, Trello and also Asana in depth. We've used both of them for at least a few months. We started with Trello, so I'm gonna start and give you an overview of Trello, and then in the next video, we're gonna talk about Asana. And I'm gonna to try to go over all the differences, um, all the main ones at least, and kind of give you a feel on how to use it for your editorial calendar and just workflows and how it's gonna be a useful tool for you. So, just to jump right in, this is the dashboard of Trello, and inside of Trello, you make boards. So we have a board for basically everything that our business needed to run correctly. Uh, that includes virtual assistant boards, we have anyone that's a freelancer for us, we have a board for them, which I'm gonna click into those in a minute. We have boards for each of our Facebook groups, our editorial calendar, our business blueprint, big picture ideas, Facebook ads, you can see all these. Um, so you kind of create a board for each project that you're working on and go from there. So I'm going to click right into my workflow. And this is how we set up most of our workflows for our freelancers. Um, and also including Brittany, she kind of liked this idea of organizing ourselves. So one of the biggest things is making sure that you're working on the right things at the right time. So in order to do that, I like to use the Eisenhower chart, which I've talked about, and basically prioritize all your tasks. So you have urgent, important, and moderate. And each one of these has a list, and then you have your task under each one. And the nice thing about Trello is that it's very user-friendly and visual. So if you're working on an urgent task, like uh, adding link tracking to affiliate links, you can just simply click and drop into the next section in progress and then once it's done it's done and then you can archive it um, so just to go over some of this inside of each task you can put who, which members you want working on the task so you can have multiple members you can add labels you can add a due date a description you can have checklists so that people can simply click when they complete a task inside a subtask inside of a main task and you can communicate back and forth through comments. Um, another nice thing is you can add attachments, um, which makes it really easy to communicate back and forth on different projects. But that's kind of how I set up my to-do list, uh, and it worked out really well. And then I have my tasks that are the high ROI tasks right here for me. And then let's go ahead and click into, let's go into Drew's here. So Drew is our SEO editor. He also does some email marketing stuff for us now. But um, basically, we have our resources page for him, which is all the resources that he could possibly need with workflows. So we have our SEO audit workflow, basically a checklist on everything you need to do in order to do a good SEO audit, and then all the important details up top. So if he were to work, if he were to be working on one of these, we could copy this and move it over to do and it's going to create a new card and then we can let's say it's a article about making money so we change that and then we can add drew to the board which i'm not going to because i don't want to notify him because we don't use trello anymore and then i would also add a due date so we could add the 15th of february save it and then he's automatically gonna get notified. So that makes it super easy and super um, clean to kind of work together and collaborate on different projects together. So these are all the ones that he's done before and you kind of just move it through the progress and work on the task together. So the nice thing I liked about Trello is that it's very visual. And I'm a visual person, I'm a visual learner, so it worked out really well. Uh, we kind of moved to Asana because it's a little bit more uh, detailed and in-depth and powerful because you can create reoccurring tasks and I'm going to go through all that when I get to that article or that um, project management software. But for now, the last thing here, I want to talk about the editorial calendar. So as a blogger, you have a lot of things on your plate. Uh, you definitely need some type of system to make sure that you're getting content out and it's scheduled and you have a process to do things. So we use this is kind of a little bit overkill with all of the steps, but it worked out really well for us. And then all of these pink ones you can disregard. That's just that they moved them over to Asana when we moved over to that platform. But basically, so if we're talking about 10 
signs that you're living beyond your means. It's an article idea. I threw all of our article ideas right in here. And then once we wanted to work on one, we would schedule it. So we put, okay, at the end of the month, I want to publish this. We're going to schedule it. We'd assign who's writing it, and then we move it to writing. And then once the writing was done, we'd put it into WordPress and start editing. And each one of these steps, we would assign the new person that was doing that uh, step in the process. Optimize for SEO, put the images in, schedule it for publication, promote it, complete it. It's all done, ready to roll. And there's nothing left to do on it. So this worked out really nice. This process and this system is nice to visually see where everything's at. And you can add different tags to know what articles are about. And then the nicest thing about this is the calendar view, which if you're a visual person, seeing the calendar view on where things are and when they're getting published was just absolutely awesome. And all this is free, so that makes it even better. I'm pretty sure that's all I got left for you guys. I also have like swipe copies, so blogging with purpose, I'm gonna show you that real quick. Inside of here, we have the group description, group rules. They're pretty long, so I wanted to make sure that I had those saved somewhere. Anytime we welcome new members, I have a swipe copy, so I can click into here, copy paste, it's all done. There's a system in place instead of having to type that out every time. This is all about saving time and being effective with your time. And then some resources on common ask questions that we can simply come in, grab the file, and share it with our group members. So anyways, that is Trello. Uh, in the next video, we're definitely going to talk about Asana and talk about how it's a little bit better than Trello, in our opinion, and why we moved over to them.